Today I'm going to show you guys how to um, go on the secret menu on the PS3. So first what you got to do, you got to hold the button. So like to fix stuff like corrupted data or your, if your hard drive is corrupted, stuff like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold this button down, power button. You're going to hold it down. It's going to be... It's gonna beep again, then turn off. Wait for it to turn off, and remove your finger. Then again, hold it again. It's gonna beep, then beep twice. Let go. Okay, now your PSG is gonna turn on. You're gonna be at the secret secret menu. It's gonna be like. Connect the controller using a USB cable and then press the PS button. That's what it's gonna say, but sorry if you guys can't see it. So connect it connect your controller, make sure you connect your controller using your USB. So I'm gonna get my controller right now and press the PS button. Go back to So I pressed my PS button and now here's a menu. Restart the system, then it goes down to restore default settings, and then you go down again. It's gonna be restore file system. Go down again. You it's gonna say rebuild database. Go again. Restore PS3 system. So y you guys gotta be careful on this. When you restore your PS3 system, your whole everything on your HDD will be deleted. So make sure not to do that or else you have to save everything on a memory stick or your USB to put it back on. Right now what I'm trying to say is to fix corrupted data. So you go to restore file system. Press yes. And it's going to prepare, okay? And it's going to tell you that you have a corrupted data or HDD. So right now it says the hard disk file system is corrupted and will be restored. So you press the PS button again and then you press OK. Now it's going to say restoring, do not turn off the system. Let it restore. Now remember this only works 75% of the time. Sometimes it, it w won't even work. Okay. Let that load up. It should. It's gonna start back up normally. Now your PS3 is gonna restart back normally. Waiting for it. So it should restart up now. There we go. Start it up. Just go on in one of your users. Everything should be normal. Except now, this is where the jailbreak comes in. This is only if you have a corrupted thing. So for the jailbreak, you go all the way up. And here. You go on my last video, my jailbreak video, you download that. Now you go update via storage. It'll look for the storage and I'll, and then it's going to say 3.55 JB. Once you jailbreak, you should have, you should go to, if you go to game, you should have this. Comgenie's awesome file manager. And you should have the test package, but I only use Comgenie's. So, that's it guys. Peace out.